my youtube channel it's an amazing time today and i want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel thank you so so much to my new subscribers you guys are welcome thank you for joining the family here we talk about healthy living amazing food recipes and meal prepping tips as well so you're welcome in today's video i'm going to show you a banana bread recipe the last banana bread video was amazing i saw all your comments thank you very much so i'm going to be making a banana bread recipe today and this one we want to add some cocoa powder to it we want a chocolate banana bread so we're going to be making chocolate banana bread today and i want you to join me it's still the same process like the former one banana bread recipe is just the same unless you want to twist it to your own preference but basically we're going to follow the same steps as in the last video so let's get straight into that if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos like and share this video and let's get started the first thing we have to do is to prepare our wet ingredients and for our wet ingredients, we have some melted butter, we have our banana, we have honey, because I like honey my banana bread, and we have some milk and of course some eggs. So the first thing you have to do, just follow the same procedure like we did last time. Peel your bananas and we're going to mash our banana. So tell me in the comments what other banana bread recipe should we try? Um, I got some comments on Instagram that uh, someone tried the almond choco banana bread, the last one that we did, and the person really loved it. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. So wash my hand and trash. While you cook your trash anything so I'm going to mash this mash the banana bread mash your bananas one of the benefits of making your bread is the fact that you get to use the ingredients that you want and you know exactly what you are adding to that particular recipe that is why it's it's encouraged to that is why it is important that you learn some recipes you don't need to be a chef you don't need to be uh, a cake expert you don't need to be a perfect person cooking is fun if you follow the right instructions and do what works for you so i've mashed the banana right now everything must come out <laughs> everything has to come out of this you can't waste any banana because this is very very important the next thing is to put in our eggs, two eggs will go in here. But ingredients, we have some vanilla. If you have any other flavor, you can do that. I like vanilla. So I'm just going to put a cup of this. next thing some melted butter i'm going to leave some of this because i'm going to use the butter to coat the pan so i will have to leave some i would also like to add honey a teaspoon of honey Next ingredient is our milk. So remember that the wet ingredient is a big determinant to how your banana bread is going to feel. If it's going to be hard or 
moist or too soft so you have to be careful when adding your wet ingredients i'm going to use just two of this i hope this particular measurement does not fail me so you have to watch the ingredients so we are done mix adding all wet ingredients i'm going to stir this and mix this together very simple recipe and you're going to love this set this aside we'll have to prepare our dry ingredients so for the dry ingredients we just need some baking powder baking soda some cinnamon flour and our cocoa powder so i'm going to add my flour <laughs> so, add some flour, add some baking powder, about half tablespoon of baking powder. Baking soda, about half tablespoon as well. Some cinnamon. the cocoa powder so this is going to give us that chocolate feel <laughs> and some brown sugar if you do not want sugar in your banana bread that is perfect you don't need to add it but I'm just going to add a tablespoon and that is all for my banana for the dry ingredients so now that we have our dry ingredients you're just going to stir everything together everything make sure that everything gets mixed up so you can see that the color has changed because of the cocoa powder so it's time to pour in the wet ingredients remember that you pour the ingredients gradually like this so that you can be sure of the texture then you stir this it's giving us that chocolate feel pour in some more So you can see that everything is coming together make sure that you stir everything right and we have our chocolate banana bread mixture good so this is the consistency this consistency is all right and i can still add this here this is the same measurement that we use for the almond choco bread, the same measurement. So it would still work for this. The only difference is we added some cocoa powder to this. That's the only difference. But every other ingredient, the same measurement. Oh, this is looking very good. Oil your pan with some butter. We're going to place our baking sheet. Now you pour the mixture into the pan. And make sure that it goes round all the corners of the pan. Just spread that so that everything goes round. For 
for my toppings, I'm just going to be using some dried fruits. Just going to place this on top of the mixture. And we're going to bake in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And our banana bread is ready. Yay! to allow this cool down a bit before I take this out of the pan. This is a close look at what our banana bread looks like. This is so good. And I'm going to slice this so that you can see what the inside looks like. Let me know if you're going to try this out. So let me know in the comments what you think about this recipe. There are so many flavors or recipes for banana bread and this is just one of many. Let me know if you're going to try this out. Do not forget to like and share this video. If you have not downloaded my free recipe book, please do that. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.